know we've done the carbonara before. You can see it down here. But today, we're going to revisit it and we're going to create a baked potato alla carbonara. It's gonna be just gorgeous. Ingredients. We have pecorino cheese, one shallot eggs and pepper. That's all you need for the sauce. And then we're using some potatoes. We're going to salt it. 400 degrees Fahrenheit for sure. And then between 50 to even 70 minutes, depending upon how your oven performs, you know? Size, Size matters. matters. Now in the oven. Okay, what we're doing now, we're creating the cream. Very simply, we're going to cook them in a water bath. If you don't have a water bath pan, it's very simple. You can simply put a little bit of water at the bottom and then you sit this on top. You see, just like this. And then you're basically using the heat underneath to cook whatever you got on it, but it's not aggressive. Carbonara, the crazy no cream cream sauce. We're going to use two yolks and one whole egg. So you see, we're, we're basically using the eggshell to kind of detach the white. You're gonna use the egg yolk. This is a point where everybody kind of has a little bit of a problem creating the carbonara. Now, you know you have a, a box creator, right? You have to go to the smallest grating setting. It literally, it's going to be like fluffy powder, okay? So look at this. Look at how it falls. It's really, really fluffy, light and it's literally melting itself, I'm not even cooking it. As it's heating the egg, we're going to be creating half a cup of pecorino romano cheese. Now the guanciale. As the potatoes are baking in the oven, we're going to sizzle and create these cute little guanciale strips for our carbonara sauce. So, we cut, depending upon which piece you get, now we're gonna cut about half an inch to three quarter inch wide strips. This is basically bacon, okay? This is the jowl of the pig. So it is very strong, it's got a lot of character. It's um, a little bit more intense than a pancetta. The pancetta, for example, is the pig's belly. Pancetta means little belly in Italian. Cut them into half inch, maximum three quarters of an inch. You see how this was spiced with pepper? We are leaving it in. We want that kind of crunchiness with a little bit of spicy peppers on it. But you see how I'm cutting them? They are literally half an inch, maybe a tiny bit bigger than half an inch wide. I'm going to debunk a myth. Did you know that you don't need extra virgin olive oil to sizzle the guanciale? The guanciale itself is actually releasing the fat. And that is the secret of the carbonara sauce. No cream is the fat rendered from the guanciale that's going to be used in the egg and cheese mixture. We season the guanciale just as it is. Sizzle them until they're nice and crispy, but not burnt. You do not want them to go black. So right now, we're done. I'm gonna switch it off. Remember, it's gonna keep cooking for a minute or so. So you do not wanna go and have them charred, okay? You want to still feel a little bit of uh, softness when you bite into it, but uh, with a little crunch. It's got more character that way. At this point, they gently whisk it, okay? We're going to water bath this. You really want to take it to a point where it's creamy, it is lightly cooked, but not scrambled. And that's why we're water bathing this cream. You're gonna keep mixing it until you get that cream that is just gorgeous, just like you are. We've got the heat of the water underneath, and we are cooking it very slowly with the heat 
until you can tell the sauce is actually reducing and getting creamier and creamier. You do not want to get to a rolling boil at the bottom. It'll probably take between five to eight minutes yeah. and then we're done. The potatoes are ready. We're just cutting the top layers off just like this. About one third of the potatoes goes away, okay? Just, it's like the little lid, okay? We grab a fork, you're just gonna start kind of breaking into it. You're gonna create a little bit of depth in the potato. You're gonna take this potato so that it's got a little bit of depth, like about an inch down. And we're gonna add the potato inside the cream. We're going to mix it all together and just putting a little bit. Remember, potato is starchy, yeah? It's perfect to make it even more creamy. First thing we wanna do is just a little tiny sprinkle of salt inside, you know? Remember, we salted them on the outside, but we still want a little bit of salt to go into the, you know, into the meat of the potato. Look at this cream. Like, it's the ultimate, the ultimate carbonara cream. Look at this. And because we didn't use the tears of the gods, now we have the starch of the potato going in and creating that extra creamy. Now, did you see how I put a little bit of guanciale already in there as a little tiny surprise when you're like dig digging into it with a bite? It's not just on the top, but it's also inside of it. So now, it's the time. Finally, we top it off with that scrunchy guanciale on top. And now finally, a scrunch of pepper on top. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Just like you are. And now, of course, the test of all tests. The brother test, he convinced me he had to go first. <laughs> okay, we have not tasted this. Let's see how it came out. Baked potato alla carbonara. Buona, vero? Wow. È una bomba, ve? È buonissima. È buonissima. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Guys, we have to rush wow. right now. This, this right now is what is waiting for me. It's between me and the end of this video. So I say goodbye, like and comment, make the baked potato alla carbonara and let me know how it goes. Remember, you are just gorgeous. See you soon, ciao. Do you like, look at the depth. We kind of broken it up so that the cream is literally going all the way to the bottom. Look at this, look at it.